be useful for software and core companies. Participants. Still, we can accommodate accommodate more numbers. You can invite your friends to participate participate in this. Workshop Abbas until now What is my voice quality? Voice quality What is my voice quality? and uh, video video or ppt sharing abbas until now voice quality and video or ppt sharing <coughs> whether any back <coughs> <coughs> whether any break in voice or uh, slow down of internet slow down of slow down of internet any break in voice or slow down of internet okay right <clears throat> Once again, the form link is given here. Share with your friends. Only 100 can submit per day. That's why the participants are getting delayed. Peace certificate. Already 150 uh, participants, peace certificate delivered to already 150 participants. Remaining 140 will be delivered within the Thursday evening. And uh, URL Yeah, when the form is submitted, certificate will be delivered to your mail, right? <coughs> Okay, in the Webex link, again, I am going to give you here. Exactly, twelve fifteen we will we shall start. Participants. If you are if you are friends.
participated participating in some other seminar or workshop or class work share the form url to them note that the form closed for 92 participants if you want to if you want to fill now itself you can start you can start but you, you have to watch this workshop to get the resistor capacit capacitor values the form is left open up to 3 pm today right now the time is 12:15 abbas shall we start abbas shall we start whether voice is visible or voice is audible Okay, right. So our uh, first experiment is what is serious feedback capacitor? So experiment number one is. Voltage series feedback amplifier. What is the first experiment is what is series feedback amplifier? So the uh, here you are having uh, here you are we you are watching two circuits. The topmost circuit uh, circuit is the uh, voltage series feedback amplifier without feedback. The bottom most is the voltage series feedback amplifier with the feedback. What is the difference between without feedback and with the feedback? Without feedback, you are having a bypass capacitor across the bypass resistor. With the feedback, you are having resistor alone. Resistor alone. Uh, mute your mic, uh, mic. Abbas, uh, whether uh, whether the audio is visible, audio is uh, clear. Nikila Balakrishnan, okay. Okay, right. Uh, so the uh, the topmost figure, uh, the topmost circuit is uh, what is serious feedback amplifier without feedback. The bottommost uh, figure circuit is nothing but your voltage series feedback amplifier. So, what is the difference between uh, without feedback and with feedback? In without feedback, the bypass capacitor, uh, uh, yeah, bypass capacitor is connected across uh, the bypass resistor. In with feedback, the bypass capacitor is removed. This circuit provides what is series feedback. This circuit provides what is series feedback. Okay. So here I am going to simulate uh, this experiment. Yeah, here I am going. To, so this one is the voltage series feedback amplifier uh, frequency response. 
whether it is uh, visible to you abbas yes sir right okay so the uh, what is serious feedback can be frequency response this one so the red color graph corresponds to what is serious feedback amplifier with the feedback and the topmost is the what is serious feedback amplifier without feedback so here i am using some cursors so cursors so using this cursor move here this to find out the midband voltage um so what is v12 red color what is v6 green color so the green color graph frequency response corresponds to voltage series feedback amplifier without feedback the red color graph corresponds to voltage series feedback amplifier with the feedback right so this one is the midband voltage midband voltage so what is the value of uh, the first uh, second cursor with the feedback the highest voltage equal to 4 midband voltage equal to 4.3891 millivolt or simply volt 4.3897 millivolt with the, uh, uh, sorry uh, 4.3897 millivolt for uh, with the feedback 211.7399 millivolt for Two hundred eleven point seven three nine nine millivolt for without feedback. So the error marks was above. Uh, whenever uh, you are getting problem with the audio or uh, uh, data slowdown, you just uh, uh, sir no audio. Thank you, Lakshmi. To everyone, above. audio is audible sir audio audio now okay right okay right audio is clear to you baki lakshmi baki lakshmi okay right okay right right uh so the a uh, green color graph corresponds to uh, what is series feedback amplifier without feedback so uh, note down the corresponding voltage 211.7399 millivolt and uh, red color uh, graph the midband voltage equal to 4.3897 millivolt or simply volt or simply volt millivolt millivolt if it is millivolt now okay volt now you can uh, check the uh, questions uh, in the form whether it is given in millivolt or volt okay so the value of midband voltage equal to 4.3897 millivolt for uh, uh, with the feedback without feedback 211.7399 millivolt right with the feedback 4.3897 millivolt without feedback 211.7399 millivolt i am closing this graph now now the question is what is the midband voltage of what is series feedback amplifier with the feedback and without feedback what is the midband voltage of now we all of you having the form now now uh, typing the question here i uh, just uh, uh, okay and uh, question number 1 what is the question number 1 in the chat i am typing the question what is the what is the midband voltage midband voltage of voltage series voltage series feedback amplifier what is the midband voltage of what is series feedback amplifier this is the first question right for first experiment The second experiment. Abba, shall we proceed to second experiment? Abba, shall we proceed to second experiment? Okay, right. 
The second S naught is R C phase shift oscillator. The second S naught is R C phase shift oscillator. Uh, so this one is the transistor R C phase shift oscillator. Here you are having three pairs of R C network. The value of R is equal to 4.7 kilo ohms. The value of C is equal to 0.01 microfarad. Here I am going to simulate this experiment. The graph is shown in CRO. Stop the simulation. I am moving the cursor here and I am moving the cursor here so that I get time period of the one cycle approximately. The time period of the one cycle approximately right so what is the time period of the one cycle approximately equal to 965.909 microsecond yeah all right otherwise one millisecond approximately one millisecond right okay now i am going to Close this graph. Right. Now, what is the question number two for RC phase shift oscillator? What is the what is the frequency of oscillation of RC phase shift oscillator. What is the frequency of oscillation of RC phase shift oscillator? Right? You are already note down the participants, you already note down the time period of the RC phase shift oscillator. Output sinusoid, RC phase shift oscillator output sinusoidal waveform time period already given to you. You can either use the formula or you can calculate directly the frequency of oscillation of RC phase shift oscillator. Abbas, shall we proceed to third experiment? Right now. Your third experiment is Wayne Bridge oscillator. Your third experiment is Wayne Bridge oscillator. What is the uh, uh, or which resistor and which capacitor you should to uh, decide the Frequency of oscillation of Wayne Bridge oscillator. This R and C. This one is the series combination of the Wayne Bridge. This one is the parallel combination of Wayne Bridge. This R and R C and this R and C decide the frequency of oscillation of Wayne Bridge oscillator output. The value of R equal to 10 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm. The value of C is equal to 5 nanofarad. Okay. Here also I am going to simulate this experiment. Viewing the oscilloscope, stop this. Just I am moving the this one. Approximately some value around three forty something, three twenty to three forty microsecond. 320 to 340 microseconds approximately. Uh, just the narrow down this one. 340 to 320 microseconds. Now the question is question number three. What is the frequency of oscillation? What is the frequency of oscillation of Wayne Bridge oscillator given? What is the frequency of oscillation of Wayne Bridge oscillator? Either you can use the formula to calculate the frequency of oscillation or you can uh, directly by viewing the CRO output here. If you note out the time period of the uh, when you just let output, you can calculate the uh, frequency from that. 
Abbas Ali proceed to fourth experiment. Yes, sir. Right, okay. Your fourth experiment is Harley oscillator. So a Harley oscillator consists of a common emitter transistor. This common emitter transistor provides 180 degree phase shift. This tank circuit provides 180 degree phase shift. So that the Harley oscillator need, get a sufficient uh, phase shift 360 degree or 0 degree to oscillate. Right? So this is the tank circuit uh, used for the Harley oscillator, two inductors and one capacitor. You know the formula for the frequency of oscillation uh, to calculate the Harley oscillator. Otherwise, I am going to just simulate this experiment and by viewing this graph and having the two arrow mark here one the one is the end of the negative half cycle and another one is the start of the positive half cycle right okay here what is exactly the one uh, uh, one second time period 948.848 microsecond. You can just approximately uh, 990 something. 990 or uh, 1 millisecond. Uh, 1 millisecond. 1 millisecond. Right? This is the time period of the sinusoidal waveform generated at the Harley oscillator. Okay. Now, what is the question? The question is similar. Question number 4. What is the frequency of oscillation? Frequency of oscillation of Harley oscillator. What is the frequency of oscillation of Harley oscillator? Of what is the frequency of oscillation of Harley oscillator output? What is the frequency of oscillation of Harley oscillator output? Okay. Abbas, shall you proceed to fifth experiment? Okay, right. Your fifth experiment is Paltus oscillator. Uh, similar to Harley oscillator, uh, Polypus oscillator ha has one uh, transistor. This transistor in common emitter configuration provides 180 degree phase shift and the tank circuit provides additional 180 degree phase shift to oscillate. So the tank circuit consists of two capacitors and uh, one inductor. The capacitor values are given here and the inductor values are given here. You know the value of the, uh, you, uh, you, you, uh, you, I think you may have the formula to calculate the Polypus oscillator. F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into C equivalent. Otherwise, here I am going to just simulate this experiment. Stop this and uh, one is at the start of the first one. 45 microseconds or 45.445 microseconds or approximately 45 to 46 microseconds. Check whether uh, which answer is flexible to the answers given in your uh, form. Right? The form given to you, check uh, which one is which uh, one is feasible. Whether it is 45 to 46 microseconds, thank you approximately 45 to 45.445 microseconds here. You can check it right now. What is the question for this experiment? Question number five What is the frequency of oscillation of? Corpus oscillator. What is the frequency of oscillation of Corpus oscillator? How good? Corpus oscillator how good? They form. What is the frequency of oscillation of Corpus oscillator? How good? They form. 
மஞ்சுராமன் ஐ நோட் டவுன் மஞ்சுராமன் just type in the chat box what is the frequency of oscillation of kalpit's oscillator manju raman no response divya doraikannan have you noted down to question number 5 what is the frequency of oscillation of kalpit's oscillator okay right abba sali proceed to sixth experiment okay right your sixth experiment is bistable multi vibrator so this one is the bistable multi vibrator you are all know about the bistable multi vibrator output uh pulse with on time period off time period directly proportional to the triggering pulse used to be here <coughs> the bistable multi vibrator note down the bistable multi vibrator output on time and off time and the pulse with the total time period directly proportional to the triggering pulse given to the bistable multi vibrator this one is the triggering pulse the triggering pulse total time period equal to 2 microsecond on time period equal to 1 microsecond off time equal to 1 microsecond so this one is the uh wise table multi vibrator triggering right triggering pulse this one right it's on time period equal to 1 microsecond and uh, off time equal to 1 microsecond total total pulse width equal to 2 microsecond this one right okay here i am going to just simulate the bistable multi vibrator whether we were getting the output pulse right stop this and you can check use the uh, cursors you can cross verify cross verify what is the uh, total time duration to approximately 2 microsecond 2 my 2.008 something 2 microsecond approximately 2 microsecond yeah. 2 microsecond approximately 2 microsecond total pulse what is the value of on time period approximately 1 microsecond what is the value of off time period this may be me also one microsecond approximately one microsecond 984.848 my nanoseconds is approximately equal to one microsecond uh abbas sali move to next phase next is not okay you are so what is the question for question number 6 Question number six: What is the pulse width pulse width of bistable multi vibrator? Bistable multi vibrator. What is the pulse width of bistable multi vibrator output? Okay. So the your next experiment is monostable multi vibrator. monostable multi vibrator monostable multi vibrator what is the idu uh, paadu this one is also similar to bistable multi vibrator here in monostable multi vibrator this one is the uh, triggering pulse okay uh, the value of r and c for uh, which decides the pulse width of monostable multi vibrator is the and this one 99 kg 0.01 microfarad what is this one this one is the culture resistor and this one is also culture resistor this one is the uh, base resistor so which one decides the monostable multi vibrator output pulse with this one r2 and c1 c1 equal to 0.91 microfarad r2 equal to 99 kilo ohm r2 equal to 99 kilo ohm this one decides the monostable multi vibrator output pulse 
just simulate this one right if you don't know the formula uh, or if you don't have the formula just i am uh, uh, using the cursors uh, give, you, give you the information about the pulse rate stop this you run this stop this okay now this one is the pulse width 900 microseconds approximately 900 microseconds total time period 1 millisecond 1 millisecond closing this what is question number 7 what is the pulse width of mono stable multi vibrator output what is the pulse width of mono stable multi vibrator output Manju Raman, shall we proceed to next experiment? Question uh, experiment number eight. Shall we proceed to experiment number eight? Manju Raman, Divya Jorai Kannan. Okay, right. So, what is the experiment number eight? Positive clamp. No need to simulate here. Just you can do this. Positive, this one is the positive clamper, uh, on diode and uh, capacitor, uh, this one is the function generator, output CRO this one, simulate this, I am going to uh, just I'm simulating this one, view this graph using this, right, uh, here input control 2 channel 1 and output control 2 channel 2. You are viewing the two sensory waveforms. One is uh, zero cost, another one is above zero voltage. Above zero voltage. Okay, just uh, start the simulation, just cutting down the channel one, that is the input one. Which one is input? One is output, this one is output. So I don't want the input. Right? Now I am simulating this. Only I am getting the output. So the output is above zero voltage. The output is above zero voltage. So uh, so the output is above zero voltage. So what is the question for uh, uh, this? The positive question number eight. The positive clamper. The positive clamper output is. DC voltage or AC voltage. We know that DC in the sense unidirectional, AC in the sense bidirectional. I am giving you the key point that DC in the sense unidirectional, AC in the sense bidirectional, AC in the sense bidirectional, bidirectional. Right? Okay, Sambat, shall we proceed to another? Experiment. Sambat A. Shall we proceed to another uh, next experiment? Sambat. Okay, right. Experiment number 9. Negative clamper. Where is negative clamper? Uh, here, this one. Just I am here reverse the diode uh, 
configuration the diode anode connected to capacitor and the cathode connected to ground for negative clamper just simulating this one here also you are getting two waveforms one is from input and another one is from output one is from input and another one is from output um, so i don't want uh, input i want to know the output Again, simulating this one. Sambat, uh, are you able to view the waveform clearly? Sambat, are you able to view the waveform clearly? Yeah, okay. So, the waveform, uh, you are getting the electric clamper output below the zero voltage. Below the zero voltage. We are getting the waveform for an attic clamper below the zero voltage. Now, what is the question for this one? Question number nine. The negative clamper output is DC or AC voltage. Note that what do you mean by AC? Bidirectional. What do you mean by DC? Unidirectional. So the negative clamper output is DC or AC voltage. Question number nine. Harris, shall we proceed to the next experiment? Rupan. Rupan, shall we uh, proceed to final experiment? Experiment number 10. Rupan, are you there? Rupan. Okay, okay, Sambat, okay. Ruben, are you there? Okay, if you are not, okay, no problem. Harris? Harris, are you there? Abbas? Abbas? Okay, right. Uh, I, uh, what I am thinking is they are. Uh, uh, Ruben and Harris, uh, Ruben helping the other second years to fill up the form and Harris, uh, he, he may helping others to fill up the first years to fill up the form. So both are involved in, uh, involved in with uh, uh, their classmates, they are filling the form I think, right? Okay. Okay. The last experiment is Neotic Clipper. So this one is the negative clipper. Similar to this, we can use the waveform. So again, once again, I want to uh, stop the simulation. Yeah. This one is the negative clamper output. This one is the negative clamper output. Uh, positive half, half cycle with your, sorry, negative clipper output. So, positive half cycle uh, you are getting without uh, any uh, distortion or clipping. Uh, negative half cycle uh, clipped to some voltage. Here, the external bias voltage is provided here for negative clipping. The question corresponds to this number 10 is the additional additional bias voltage used in negative clipper is what is the additional bias voltage used in negative clipper? What is the additional bias voltage used in the negative clipper? Here I am touching this point.
what is the voltage you can do the the channel b you can do the voltage in the cha channel b at what voltage at what uh, voltage it is good to uh, do right Right. That's all about tennis. So I'm having uh, have you all note noted down the noted the flipping voltage level. Flipping voltage level, voltage level, have you note down, have you note down the flipping voltage level, is my voice is audible, check the voice is audible or not. Once again, I am going to simulate this. Okay, okay. Uh, so, this one is the 10th experiment. This one is the 10th experiment. This one is the 10th experiment. Have you wrote down the 10th question? The additional bias voltage used in the negative crimper is okay. So, Bhakti Lachmi, you want the fourth question circuit. So, please show the fourth question circuit. Which one is fourth one? What is the frequency oscillation of oscillation of Harley oscillator? This one. You can have the value of L1, L2, and you can have the value of C4 also. Right? Similar to similar to this one. This one is the circuit. From Sambath, okay, completed. Oh, right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Sambath. Very good. Bhakti Lachmi. This one is the value of L1, L2, C4, and uh, I am going to see uh, the CRO figure. And stop here. I am moving the cursor here. Right. This was, this was approximately approximately one millisecond, nine forty eight point eight four eight microsecond, approximately one millisecond. Anyone want to show these circuits? Nandogabal, you can uh, 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 chat with your friends and you can uh, answer. All the ten instruments are simulated, and anyone want to. Simulate other experiments. Like, let's say you are, uh, uh, shall we move to other experiments? Anyone? Sambath completed courses, uh, I think. Sir, so please show the fourth question. Right? Sir, so, tenth one, Manjura. Yeah, tenth question is uh, um, what? Natty Clipper. This one is the 10th experiment. This one is the additional bias voltage provided here. Similar to this, you can use this waveform like this. Any other? Yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions? Gaudam, is that your question, Trika? No, sir. Gaudam or Gaudam?
Gautam asked the other second years, those who are not getting the circle, only 10th. Okay, one from one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, two, okay. Any others? Bhakti Lachmi, okay, no, sir, thank you, sir. Other participants, other external participants, internals uh, already have the questions already, they have. Any other externals? Any other externals they want to see or they want to uh, view the waveform, output waveform or uh, they want to note down the um, resistor, capacitor, etc, etc values. Nikola Bala Krishna, okay, right, okay. Okay, many of you have some uh, classes, something online classes or uh, seminars or uh, quizzes programs, etc, etc. So, share with your friends and uh, ask them to submit the form. It will be 3 o'clock. Uh, the 3 o'clock, first you submit the form. Uh, the participants, uh, to 13, uh, two, uh, one is Abbas, uh, he already submitted. And uh, others, uh, uh, 12 members, first you submit uh, the form. Then uh, uh, then share this your to uh, this form link to other friends. Right? So, so totally uh, uh, a limited number of certificates generated per day. So, first you fill up this form and you verify whether you are getting certificate, then share this form. This uh, form link is available with up to 3 pm. Right? So, first fill up uh, this form and check whether you are getting certificate. Right? Who has submitted Sambath? Sambath, are you there? Mr. Sambath. Mr. Sambath, are you there? Sambath, you finished? Completed? Sambath, completed? If you completed now, we check your uh, mail ID whether you are getting uh, whether you have uh, getting any certificate. Sambath, are you there? Mr. Sambath. Are you there? Are you here? Check your email. Check your email. Check your email. Anyone submitted and uh, received a certificate and received a certificate? Abbas, today you submitted. Abbas, I am asking, I am asking. Today workshop. Abbas, I am asking today workshop. You know, today workshop. Manjuraman, check your email. Manjuraman, Manjuraman, check your email. Check your email. Manjur Anand, check your email. Oh, twenty three. So what? Uh, workshop attending uh, workshop attending participants uh, are uh, that uh, 14 but here they are getting 23 responses okay right okay Vamsi krishna get inside so check my i'm going to check my email manju raman has submitted manju raman submitted already right so i'm going to check my whether uh, Oh, 
go arak what a good everyone to receive it want to find very good very good find very good Sir, attended feedback amplifiers also, sir. Feedback amplifiers. Feedback amplifiers. Sir, attended feedback amplifiers also, sir. But not using circuit, sir. Feedback amplifiers. Which one? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Manju Raman. I'm going to check my inbox. Whether circuit is delivered to you. I'm, I'm just now I'm checking my email whether your certificate uh, sent to you, Manjuraman. Score arrival only, sir. Right here. Okay, right, okay, right, okay. Manjuraman getting the score also. What about uh, Are you able to view the Yogesh Kalapa Harvard certificate? Are you able to view the Yogesh Kalapa Harvard certificate? Manjuraman, are you able to view the Yogesh Kallapa Harvard? Abbas, Abbas, in the certificate visible, Arka? Visible, sir. Ah, right. Yoga, Yogesh Kallapa Harvard. Our certificate Terida, Mukandal Terida. Anything, sir. Right. So, okay. What is this uh, Asta? Asta.
Okay, right. Okay. Anjur Amar Sathya received today's participant. All are to check. Divya Dorey can check whether your college location is okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Right. Okay. Right. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. Divya Dorey can check whether received okay. Others. Today's participant uh, around. Uh, I am viewing in workshop uh, only 13 to 15 only. Uh, except as Abbas was saying uh, 14. Right, okay. Whether you have received uh, all the 13 or 14 here in the meeting room, certificates, Barak Godak, Alder Manjuraman received, Divya Dorekanan received, whether others, okay, Divya Dorekanan received, others, Manjuraman received, others. Others just just type here. I can verify uh, so that uh, all the participants are. Uh, Gautam, have you received? Nikila Balakrishnan. Nikila Balakrishnan, have you received the certificate? Param Parandaman. Parandaman. Not uh, Nikila, Nikila Balakrishnan, check, check in whether you are uh, uh, getting a uh, uh, certificate. Or not. Yeah, Rudra Selva Kumar. Rudra Selva Kumar. Have you got the certificate? Sudarshan. Sudarshan. Vamsi Krishna. Vignesh. Yeah. Rudra Salvakumar received sir. Okay, right. Okay. Nikla Balak not yet. Again, again uh, just uh, check your mail ID. Nikla Balak check your mail ID. Nikla Balak already, already, if you are submitted and uh, check whether you are uh, got scored, after that scored, uh, then uh, certificate uh, will be given. I am only having knowledge in the area of machines, sir. Manjurama, right? Okay. No, no, no. I am actually on the electronics and communication engineering. So, um, uh, within three days, I am going to contact uh, Python for uh, uh, Python for uh, digital signal processing and uh, image processing. Image processing. I shall share share the URL and uh, other information. within one day so actually my area of interest is uh, digital signal processing and uh, digital image processing okay nikila balasan take time the form is uh, kept open um, until uh, 3 pm be cool right only 23 or 25 is something uh, uh, answered. Okay. Okay, right. So, actually, my area of interest is uh, digital signal processing and digital image processing. I am going to contact a workshop on Python um, Python for signal processing and image processing. Uh, it's actually the workshop is sponsored by a, uh, Python Software Foundation. Python.org. The workshop is sponsored by Python.org. If you are interested or your friends interested, ask you and your friends to send emails to my mail ID. or sendil dot optical at gmail dot com if 
if you or your friends want to attend python for digital signal processing image processing right workshop okay right what are this i will send you you have to attend that those workshops so python for signal processing is very difficult to and uh, answer uh, in form alone so you have to watch the um, uh, the uh, workshop and uh, you can uh, get some information from that workshop and you can simulate those uh, uh, programs in your laptop or uh, anything and uh, you can get that, uh, those answers and you have to fill it in the form so it's uh, you have to attend those workshop or you are your friends or who over maybe they were okay, they want to attend python for signal processing or image processing they have to attend the workshop and uh, and uh, i'm uh, i'm going to give you the programs and uh, you can use those programs and you can uh, simulate uh, your experiments and uh, you can feed the answers in the uh, form right so anyone uh, you any one of you or any one of your friends want to attend the python for signal processing or python for digital image processing kindly send me email request to this one rsandhan.optical at gmail.com or put a whatsapp message to my whatsapp number 9940 882605 to everyone 9940882605 My WhatsApp number or my email ID. So ask them to attend the workshop. I am going to use use. Webex this link only. I'm going to use Webex this link only. Abbas, even if you do know about any anyone of your friends want to attend uh, in uh, some other college, ask them to uh, send me uh, email ID. Sorry, uh, so so the number is wrong. Double nine. Four zero double eight two six zero five. Doctor R. Sindhil Kumar. Double nine four zero double eight nine nine four zero eight eight two six zero five. Doctor R. Sindhil Kumar, Assistant Professor, E.C. Department, I.R.T.T. Zero, Tamil Nadu. Okay. Email ID rsandhil dot optical at gmail dot com. Email dot com. Abbas, shall we wind up this workshop? Participants, shall we wind up this workshop? Other participants, Sudarshan, okay, okay. Um, the remaining one forty participants uh, attended quiz on Saturday will be delivered within the certificates will be delivered within the coming Thursday evening, right? Okay. So don't worry about uh, the Saturday quiz, right? I am um, the certificates are generated, but if, if uh, it will be recent uh, to your uh, mail ID. So every day, 50 certificates only uh, generated and sent to the participants. So wait up to Thursday evening. Within Thursday evening, all of you may get the certificate for quiz uh, program attended on Saturday. Right? Okay. Okay. Right. Don't worry about the quiz certificate. Saturday quiz certificate. Right? Okay, sir. Okay, right. Shall we close the uh, Chrome meeting? 
Abbas until now how the voice is Abbas until now how the voice is okay okay until now how the voice is whether it is clear or uh, okay 37 Abbas okay param uh, param Naman. okay good quality good quality right now until now uh, only the 15 participants are participated in the workshop but uh, here things the 37 responses so the form closed for 92 participants so uh, ask your friends uh, 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 submit the form within the 3 pm and also form limited to 92 participants only after 92 participants submitted the form automatically goes okay leave now and uh, i will send you the information about python and uh, image python passing passing image passing if you wish to attend uh, you can participate in that okay okay close one right okay right thank you thank you for all the participants